Greetings everyone. My name is Rita Alvarez and I'm the director of Sunflower Project US. Look for us on sunflowerplanet.com or on Facebook at Sunflower Project. T today I'd like to demonstrate to you how to create an indoor sunflower garden using materials that are that hopefully are readily available in your home. What I what I use are paper plates, construction paper, markers, you can use crayons, whatever you prefer, okay? And so this is what they're they're gonna look like. Use your own creative creative creativity. And you can create your own sunflower garden on your wall. On any wall, your bedroom, your grandma's bedroom, any room in the house you'd like. So what we're going to do is start off by making parentheses on this paper plate. Pretty much about the space of three of these little ridges on the edges of the paper plate. And so you're going to start, you're going to skip one in between, and you're going to go this way, and count three, one, two, three, and then make it on the other side, and just keep doing that all along the paper plate edges. Okay? The next thing you want to do is color those in, and I'm going to take Let's see what color. Let's, you can make it any kind you like. Alright, you can use blue or green or orange. And I'm going to start by coloring it in. Now you may say that this doesn't look very realistic because the sunflowers we usually see have yellow petal, petals, right? And maybe the brown inside and then the green stems. But we want you to use your imagination. It's whatever makes you happy. And so once you get all of those done, it'll pretty much look like this, but colored in. Don't forget to cap your marker. And you're going to take your scissors and you're going to start cutting in between the parentheses you used to create the petals. And as you can see, these safety scissors work very well. And you're going to keep going around. And it doesn't have to be perfect. It's still going to look good. The next thing you want to do is if you have any on hand, you're going to take some green construction paper. And what I did was I folded it I mean, into strips. Okay, I went back and forth. Again, they don't have to be perfect. They don't have to be uniform. Kind of making making like a little fan. And then I'm going to cut up and down, and I'm going to get strips just like this. So this strip will make will make the stem. So as you can see, I colored those parentheses all along the plate, and I colored inside the sunflower. And so what I did was I took some blue and I put a little bit of blue on the stem. And then I put it right behind my paper plate, which is already colored in. And stuff, okay? So the next thing you want to do with your green construction paper 
Just make yourself a leaf. Okay? Now this is the way I did my leaf. You can choose to do your leaf any way you'd like. Okay? You can trace it. You can use some other object to trace, to make a leaf. Something around the house. Maybe, uh, I don't know. What would you suggest, uh, audience? Any other suggestions? Try folding the paper in half. Oh, okay. So if we fold the paper in half, like this, and we can take our pen or pencil or marker. I have a pen right here. But you know what I'm gonna, I think I'm going to use a marker. Because that will show up. So what I'm going to do Just take my marker, come to the edge, and draw the shape I might like my leaf to be. Okay? Now, I'm going to take my scissors, and I'm going to cut along the line that I just drew or inside of it. Okay. And there you have it. I have my leaf. And what I'm going to do with that leaf is I'm going to glue it behind my stem you're going to put all the pieces together with glue, and you'll have your sunflower. Now, I'd like to use two leaves, so I'm going to kind of alternate them, and it'll look like this. Okay? Now, let's say you don't have any construction paper or paper plates at home. That's okay. Maybe you have some white paper. Okay. So you can take your crayons, color the white paper, green if you'd like, whatever color you'd like your stem, and your leaves. And you can pretty much do the same thing. If you want to make the flower part, or this part of the sunflower, if you want to create that, you can even take a bowl any kind of bowl. Make sure it's okay with mom and dad. And I'm gonna, you know what? I think I'm gonna take the big one. And so I have just a a bowl. You'll you'll probably find you'll find in your kitchen. I'm gonna use the lid to draw a circle on my paper. So you see. I'm going to take my Sharpie, and of course you're going to want this to sit on your table, but I want you to be able to see what I'm doing. So I just made an outline of the lid of this bowl. So I got a circle, and that'll be the inside of your sunflower. Okay. <laughs> oh, so this is the inside, okay? And I'm going to take the little bowl. Well, actually, the little bowl, this little bowl might be a little bit too big. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that bigger lid was for the outside of the sunflower. And this little bowl is for the inside of the sunflower. And again, I'm going to trace around the little bowl, and it's going to be on the inside of the sunflower. <laughs> okay, this is maybe not be perfect, but this is 
kind of what it's going to look like. Hopefully it will look a little better. And what I'm going to do with this, I'm also going to do parentheses on this one. Give yourself some room. And I'll show it to you in a second. And we're just using plain white paper. If you don't have any plain white paper, you might have some notebook paper or anything you have at home. Okay. Make sure you tap the marker. And so it kind of looks like this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut, just like I did with the paper plate, I'm going to cut around it. Alternating. In the middle. I'm going to pick up this edge. Cut it out so that it to create our petals. Okay, so we're going to keep going around and doing the same thing, and pretty much like we did the paper plates. And then, if you want to create your stems using white paper, you can do that. You can create your leaves using the same process we used for the paper plates and the construction paper. If you want to use things around the house. You may have some paper towel rolls. Okay, ask your parents to save you the paper towel rolls. And what you can do is create a stem using the paper towel roll. Now what I'm going to do is cut along the middle. This could be a little trickier with the safety scissors, but you can do it. Or you can ask your parents to do it for you. And so, when you cut open that paper towel roll, it's actually going to look like this. But what you can do is cut, is flatten it a little. Now this material is a little bit trickier to work with, so you may want to you may want to ask an adult to help you with it. And what you're going to do is cut right along that fold. And you've just created your stem, which you can take your green crayon or marker and color it to create the stem. You could also, to make it a little bit more three-dimensional, make it round and create a stem like that. But what are you going to use to make, in place of the paper plate or and the petals? Well, you may have something laying around in your recycle bin or whatever. But again, check with your parents or an adult to make sure that it's okay. You might have something like this. It's a graham cracker box I found in my recycle bin. And you can use that, just like we did with the white paper and the bowls or the bowl lid, to create your sunflower. So let me demonstrate that. So what I'm going to do to create the outside of the sunflower take my marker actually you can even take your, a pen or a pencil anything you have but you know what 
so you can see this better, I'm going to use my marker. And all I'm doing is drawing a circle using the lid. So it's going to look like this. And I use the lid to do that. Then I'm going to take my smaller bowl and again create the inside, the interior. It's kind of going to look like this. And what you're going to want to do is use your parentheses again. Or you can use triangles. With this one up here, I made triangles. Okay? So you see I have a variety in my sunflower garden. I use triangles here. I use parentheses here. Anything you'd like. It's your sunflower garden. So I'm just going to go all around here. Kind of giving myself some space. And creating the petals. And what you're going to want to do is probably cut the excess cardboard off so it'll be easier for you to get at your petals, okay? Now, this is a little bit difficult for you. Please try to see if you have an adult avail available to help you out. Maybe they can use scissors that are a little sharper, except these seem to work fine. And what you're going to want to do is cut your petals again. And keep going around your sunflower or your cardboard. And you're going to color that in. And so once it's done, you're going to use the paper towel roll, the recycled cardboard, and again, you can create leaves. Probably using the same kind of uh, tool, this or one of the paper towels. Paper towel rolls. Also, if you don't have any uh, glue on hand, you can always use scotch tape or anything else that might help to uh, glue everything together or adhere things or connect everything together. Right? Okay. So that's it. Thank you for joining me. Look for us at sunflowerplanet.com and on Facebook, Sunflower Project. My name is Rita Alvarez, and it was great being with you today. Thank you.